Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, we are going to be learning how to use the looks category. So, to start off, um, I have an announcement to make. Um, on Scratch, my account has officially earned Scratcher status in only two weeks and one day. So, that makes me really happy. If you want to check it out, let me just type my Scratch um, user in here and you can check it out search my username on scratch so it is doorbird1234 so definitely check it out on scratch and my second announcement is that from now on our scratch cat's color is going to depend on what actually it's going to depend on what category we're doing so today it's sound so our first thing is clay sound <coughs> oh god Play sound until done. So this one, it just plays the sound until it's completely finished. Let's, you can even stick a, you can stick a variable in here. So that depends on how you want to do it. So this one plays it until it's done. And this one just starts it. What this one's difference is, is that this one, let me see. Say hello for two seconds. This one will just let it continue, but this one, it will wait until your sound is done, then it will say it. But this one, it will just start it and whatever happens just continues on from there. So next, we have the stop all sounds. So this one's super simple. Um, why don't I just grab myself a forever loop? Play sound meow until done. Uh, for you guys, I'm gonna torture myself. Here you go. Oh, God. What this one does is it stops all sounds. As you can see, it's not doing anything. Thank goodness we have stop all sounds. The second we stop doing that, it the boom just does that it basically stops it stops all sounds but if we put in a further loop so it won't really work well in the forever loop because it just keeps on going you have to continuously be clicking this but if you want it to go like this so let me just show you what it does normally you can just stop it like that and it won't Play it over and over again, but since I stuck it in a forever loop, um, it kept on playing over and over again. So next we have the change or set pitch or pan left right. So first we have the change pitch effect. Right ten, so I'll just get my meow, and let's see, let's change pitch effect by ten, and boom. <coughs> see, it ju it just gives you a higher one, and let's see, minus one hundred. <coughs> So that changes the pitch, but the pan left right I can't really show you because for this one you actually need to have headphones. So, so that one just changes the side that it's playing on. Let me see if I can try. I mean, I don't have headphones right now, so I don't think it will work, but we can try. We can definitely try. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so let me see. Let me see if I can fix this. I grab my headphones that were in my drawer. Okay, 
So what should have been done, I don't know if you could hear that, let me just go back to my Okay, they're out. So now that works, but only with headphones. I don't know if you could hear what I was hearing. But then we have the set. So let's say set pitch effect to my variable. You can literally stick a variable in here. So let's see my variable. My variable is negative 10. So, okay. Then play sound. Not alarm. Meow. Okay, so then let, why don't we set the train? Yeah. And then why don't we set my variable to negative 300? Okay, so let's see. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's like, it's like Darth Vader's no. no. Let's hear that again. Okay, let me record a sound really quick. So. No! No! Okay, that looks good. Let's see if we can try this out. Let's see how it will sound like. I can't even hear it well. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, Let's see, minus 100. No. Okay, I got it. I got it perfect. Wait, uh, let's see, 150. No. Star Wars definitely use Scratch. Star Wars, I don't know if Scratch was even around by then, but still. Okay, so. From now on, I'm actually going to be putting activities in my video. They'll be fun. They'll be entertaining. So what I want you to do for today's activity is going to be record a sound like mine. No! Record a no sound. Then set your pitch effect to minus 150 and play sound your no until done. So uh, that's your task after this video. I want to hear that again, please. Okay, that's just amazing. Okay, so next we have the clear sound effect. So let's say we change pitch effect by 10. And then we play sound. No. No! Let's change that again. No! And then let's clear sound effects and then... No! What it does is it clears the pan, left, right, or the pitch. It's basically super self-explanatory, super easy. Um, next, we have the change volume by and set volume to. And then you can click your volume. You can use this as a variable, or you can just use it to see your volume. So let's change our volume. Actually, you can change it. It's 100, but let's see minus 10. So you can do that. And then, actually, I want my vol. You this one sets your volume to your variable or your number. The same thing for this one. This one changes it by your variable or number. But let's set my volume to 40. Okay, so my volume is 40. Let's play sound note. No! Set that to 10. No! As you can see, the volume gradually decreases, and at zero, we can't hear it. So, those are all the blocks for sound, guys. Thank you so much for watching. In my next video, I'll do sensing, then I'll do variables and lists, and then blocks, and then operators, because those are more complicated. But, if you want me to continue the series, get this video to likes, and if you want me to add, you like, you do the extension too, like, I can only do five of them. Because I only have them until the makey, I have everything until the makey makey. But after the makey makey, I don't have them. I can just show you the code and how the code works. But I don't actually have the stuff, but I can still show the code. But if you want that to happen, you need to get this video to four likes. And if you want me to teach you how to program with. Okay, I want you to. Okay, write in the comments down below. Pause the video right now. Oh god.
No, actually, pause the video right now. Pause the video right now and try to guess what I am going to make you. What I what I'm gonna teach you if this video gets to six likes. So pause the video, leave a comment, and try to guess. Okay, so did you guess? Well, I don't think you could guess correctly, but it's dash and dot, also known as blockly. For this, you normally need like the robot, but it's very similar to Scratch. It also uses block code, so I can teach you what the block code does. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This has been Scratch Tutorials. Peace.